Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Oak. Welcome back to some more World of Tanks. But before we get to it, head down below, like and subscribe, it does help out a lot. So let's get right into it. Today, we're watching Phil, Philosophy, I'm just gonna call him Phil, playing in the comments. Now, I wanted to showcase this tank and this replay, because of course, the Centurion AX is top of the tree right now on the European server. So all of the tanks are up. Uh, on, on the tech tree are discounted and uh, I'm pretty sure there's an XP kind of uh, bonus as well you you earn more XP or something like that I, I really don't know but of course the, the main advantage is that all of the tanks just cost a lot less so you can save just millions of credits on like the tier 10 I'm pretty sure the tier 10 is about uh, 2 point or well, around 2 million credits less so that's good so first thing you might notice about philosophy's setup over here is that he has APCR rounds on the one key but as you can see here he has actually switching to the AP rounds when he doesn't need them but uh, with him having so little he is going to run out eventually because uh, this tank just has a really good DPM and it reloads quite fast. Uh, now the Comet what is good about the Comet well the speed is okay it's slower than the Cromwell from uh, 64 uh, kilometers an hour on the Cromwell to 51 which I really don't like the step down and top speed going from the Cromwell to this because it's just so much slow like the engine just has so much more grunt that it could give out but it's just limited to, to that 51 kilometers an hour which really just slows you down quite a lot uh, just on open maps not really not really a map like this because it is quite small but on large maps when you need to get across from one side to the other to actually get some more damage out uh, when you've killed everyone on your flank it's just it just it just takes quite some time that 51 is an okay top speed but compared to 64 it's just, it just you just can't compare it now the gun is good of course not the highest uh, damage because uh, some uh, medium tanks at tier 7 already packing around 300 damage if not even more uh, and this has I'm pretty sure 150 and quite uh, bad uh, regular regular ammo penetration even the, the APCR rounds aren't really the best that's why I guess Phil is using quite a lot of them over here but he is using them in the right situation with fighting the Black Prince and all of that so what else is good about the Comet? 12 degrees of gun depression. This is just a mounted goat. You just compared to like, uh, you know, other uh, medium tanks at tier 7, like the T20, I'm pretty sure that has 10 degrees. Uh, the T, the Soviet ones have about like 6, if not even like less. Just this compared to those is just absolutely amazing. It has similar, if not even the same. Uh, kind of gun depression as the tier 8 uh, Swedish medium tank but of course it doesn't have that uh, of that kind of uh, well it always has 12 degrees of gun depression even when you're going fast it doesn't have to kind of like switch into that mode which I just forget uh, the, the word right now but you, you that means they have 12, deg 12 degrees of gun depression all around the front and the sides because in the Swedish tanks, if you are trying to shoot over the side, of course, uh, you, your tank can't really just like you know move like this. It can just go like front to back, so the suspension can't really just like move to the to the left or right. Just give you more uh, gun depression that way. Uh, and of course, this tank compared to the Cromwell can use vertical stabilizers, which is a huge thing for this tank. It just means that you can keep on shooting, even at long ranges, as we are seeing over here, uh, with quite high accuracy now Phil over here already up to 3200 damage two kills the the, it, the DPM on this tank is just absolutely insane rate of fire means they can just keep on shooting and it doesn't really matter if well, this is basically kind of like an auto loader that just never has to reload because you're always putting in those rounds and uh, you just don't need to reload that clip which is really good. Now the armor on this tank, of course, uh, not really the best. It's basically kind of like similar to the Cromwell's. Not really going to bounce much. 
maybe some tier fives when you are using that 12, de 12 de degrees of gun depression or you just get lucky and they hit your mantlet but most of the time you shouldn't really f focus on trying to bounce something but as I said sometimes you do get lucky and Phil over here bounced off the T25 too over there so uh, quite good stuff over there uh, so this tank for a tier 7 is probably one of the best of course uh, damage per shot penetration isn't the best armor isn't the best but everything else is quite decent as Phil over here is putting in some high explosive rounds into the Hummel over there uh, the second one actually bouncing but the first and third going in as Phil over here is now shooting the T of uh, the type 64 the tier 6 Chinese light tank really good again quite a good rate of fire on that tank as he gets shot by the super hellcat but just over in a couple of minutes 5400 damage three kills and it's 30, 14 kills to four so as you can see uh phil probably uh, getting quite well he's probably happy that he's winning but uh you know he probably would have wanted maybe just a couple of his teammates to die just to put in those uh, full seven shots as he is only going to put in one to kill the super hell cat but, but he definitely probably 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 would have wanted to put in those extra six just to go i don't know maybe above 6k in this game but absolutely brilliant game just for a couple of minutes of fighting on this map for phil over here let's look at the post game stats and let's see how well he did in this tank so with the centurion ax being top of the tree right now it's probably going to be a little bit harder to get your ace tankers on all of the tanks leading up to that because quite a lot more people are going to play it uh, but it is an ace tanker for fill over here brilliant game just in, in such a short amount of time just so much damage just showing you how good the dpm of this tank is high caliber of course and a confederate medal 5421 damage four kills 1800 813 base experience which is just absolutely huge for uh for a tier 7 uh, medium tank of course perfect matchmaking for him but still uh th that means it's gonna be really hard to get an ace tanker in this tank uh with loads of people playing right now and even though uh phil over here used food consumable and of course i find quite a lot of gold rounds he only lost nine thousand damage with a premium account so not really the not really the most lost especially on such a fun game over here um just brilliant game i really enjoyed playing the comet uh i really got through the cromwell and the comet just so quickly and i'm just stuck at the at the centurion uh the, the centurion mark one because it just it just d doesn't compare to the two previous tanks in the tech tree but maybe one day i'll get the tier nine and then eventually the tier seven maybe now is the perfect time to maybe play a little bit of that uh tank and i uh, maybe maybe i'll maybe i'll get the tier 10 one day but for that that is going to be it so hope you guys enjoyed like share subscribe see you guys next time Bye bye